take a scenario where we can perform traffic segregation by using VRF light. Shown in the diagram, we have two VLANs which are VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. While VLAN 10 subnet is for servers, VLAN 20 subnet belongs to users. The gateway or the SVI for these two VLANs are created on the layer 3 switch. Now, as part of security flow, we have attached a new firewall to layer 3 switch. The security requirement is that any communication between these two VLANs should happen through firewall. However, since the SVI for both VLANs are created on same layer 3 switch, any traffic originating from one VLAN will be directly routed by switch to other VLAN since the VLAN subnets are directly connected. Now, one way to route the user to server VLAN traffic through the firewall is by installing a separate layer 3 switch, where one layer 3 switch will be dedicated for each VLAN. However, this means additional space, power, cost of buying and maintaining the additional switch, which is very high. However, this is where we can make use of VRF light. Now, we create two VRFs. First VRF is VRF A, which is for server VLAN and VRF B for user VLAN. Both the VRFs also have routing for respective interface connecting to firewall. Once the VRFs are set up and routing configured, any communication between VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 will be routed through the firewall since the routing of VLAN 10 subnet is handled by different VRF and VLAN 20 subnet routing is handled by a different VRF. The example shown is a good option of segmenting traffic between various subnets by using VRF light function with minimal resources.